Hey guys, Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be covering how to calculate the delta, the standard delta S of a reaction or the entropy of a reaction by using S0, which is standard entropy. Entropy is just the easiest way to think about it. It's the randomness, the chaos, the disorder. And if you're not too familiar with entropy, definitely check out my video where I go over all the factors that affects entropy. But in this video, we'll just be covering how to calculate the delta S of a reaction. And the way to do that is by using this equation. The delta S, the standard delta S of a reaction is equal to the sum of the entropy of the products minus the sum of the entropy of the reactants. All right, now let's take a look at two examples where we use that equation. So we have to calculate the delta S of this reaction given the following information. So to use this equation, you have to be given the standard entropy of the reactants and products without it you you can't do it because typically you're not expected to memorize these values so then now that we have the values we can just plug in the two products minus reactants so the delta s of this reaction will equal the sum of the products we have two moles of hi so we have to do, take two multiply by the moles of the, the value for hi and the value for hi is 206.3 So that would be the sum of the product since we only have one product. Now we subtract the sum of the reactants. So in the reactant side, we have H2 plus I2. So we just add the H2 and I2 values. So that'll just be the H2 value 130.58 plus the I2 value 116.73. Then plug that into the calculator and you'll get 165.2 joules per mole times Kelvin. That's the units for S. And you can see that right here, joules per mole times Kelvin. All right, let's take a look at the next one. We're calculating, once again, the delta S of this reaction, and we're given the standard entropy values for the reactant products. So we just plug it into the equation, products minus reactants. So the products, we have 2NO2 times the value of NO2, which will be 240.45 minus the sum of the reactants, which is just the N204, um, which is going to be 304.3. Plug that into the calculator, and then you'll get 176.6 joules per mole times Kelvin. And that's it. That's how you would calculate the delta S of the reaction using standard entropy, just to products minus reactants and just um, you would just make sure to multiply the number of moles um, in incorporate that into the calculation um, and then also make sure that the units is in joules per mole times kelvin uh, or sometimes it could be in kilojoules per mole times kelvin but that's it hopefully that made some more sense and you feel more confident with calculating the delta s of a reaction now if you want to learn how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.